Well, good morning. Happy spring morning here from the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> it's April 20th. And uh, uh, as you can see, it's the, the snow is kind of coming in sideways. Argo stopped to do his business. So, um, hmm. they predicted snow today, but they gave us a 30% chance. Uh, apparently that's a pretty good 30%. Wish I had those same odds of winning the lottery. <laughs> uh, but Argo, you see, well, despite the snow, he doesn't let that slow him down. He found us a ship. Let me turn this around. I'll show you here in just a moment. Come on, dog. Let's show him. All right. So I'm not really going to be able to zoom very well because I have my gloves on. And I have my phone. Which is why I can walk and not make anyone motion sick. It's interesting how my phone has better stabilization than my big camera. <laughs> anyway, you can see Argo's building up a little, a little bit of snow. This is the Federal Caribou, I believe. So you can zip across here, as you can see, parking lots, well, parking spaces are all empty. Tour season hasn't quite started, about another month. Then it'll be pretty busy. Uh. All right. There we go. I do not know which country they hail from. No. Nope. Even if they had a flag, I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> Now this, this feels more like January, <laughs> well, except not nearly as cold. Maybe March, yeah, March or November. But There was a very interesting article written by one of the uh, the river pilots because uh, these saltwater vessels require a river pilot to go through the river and so like one will get on just above here at grow cap and then the pilot will stay on unless they swap out pilots all the way down to detour and then of course the upbound salties do the reverse the, pilot gets on a detour and then gets off the boat at grow cap but uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher this a bit of what the pilot was saying when he was talking about like maneuvering these saltwater vessels and tying them up um, that Lakers have a mechanism that when they're tied up they will give out the winches will give out slack as they like go up in the lock the salties don't um, so they have to be really careful because they'll snap cables um, when they're in the lock another thing is that salties don't have a variable pitch propeller so they are they have like a, a fairly high maximum or minimum speed so what they end up having to do is shut off the engine and coast but then of course when you do that you lose a lot of your steering because you have less water going across the rudder then you have to fire it up again and then there's like an air compressor system. That's how they start the engine. And they only have so many starts in the system. There's only so much pressure. So you have to think that ahead. 
you know, your your engine starts in order to get through here. And that is something I never considered, ever. Just shows my lack of familiarity, you know? There we are. I'm gonna cut this a little short, well, for obvious reasons. Um, Argo and I, I was hoping to get out and hit the trail today. I still might, like I'm not afraid of the, of the snow. There's some uh, trees I want to cut on the trail. But this is definitely more snow than I was, I was expecting. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh, you have some accumulation there, dog. Oh, you ready to go? All right. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Maybe without the snow. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs>